Hi guys, welcome to Make That Sea Change. Paul here with you again today. And today we're going to have a look at how to sell perfume online. Now this is quite an interesting one. I actually had quite a bit of fun writing this one, mainly for the fact that it's a real challenge, I think, when you're looking at something like this, because online you can't smell perfume, which is its number one selling um, requirement. I mean, if you go into a, you know, go into a department store or a, or a you know, designer store, pick up a bottle of perfume, take it away because you like the bottle, you do it because you put them on little bits of cardboard and you smell them and you test them, put them on your skin, see how they feel, etc. So if you're looking to sell online, you don't have those tangibles that you have in a store, which is what makes this a little bit more um, interesting, but certainly not something that's not possible. Um, because whilst it is something that people, when they look at buying perfume, they do want to smell it, they do want to feel it, etc. They do, however, get to know certain brands. And the world of perfume is predominantly, um, I shouldn't say the word control, but predominantly stocked by the designer brand labels, you know, Dolce and Gabbana, Chanel, um, DKNY, Ralph Lauren, those sort of, those sort of designers. Apart from clothes, almost all of them have fragrances that they that they release as well as part of their their portfolio. So let's have a look at how to sell perfume online. Now the first thing I've looked at here is just keeping in line with everything else that we we want to make sure when we if we're going to step into an online market and if perfume is something that you're interested in, passionate about, and want to make money out of online, then we need to look at something. To make sure that there's a market there so what i've done is i've gone into jaxi which is a keyword tool and started looking at the search numbers just to see what's about so 39,000 people odd per month search for perfume uh dolce and gabbana has about seven seven and a half thousand searches uh burberry perfume and dolce and gabbana light blue perfume are the first ones that come up so you can see that people are searching for those brand names that I mentioned before, which is helpful because if they know it, they'll likely buy it online, especially if they can get it cheaper. Um, then I would look for perfume sale because I'm thinking if people want to buy perfume, they might want to buy it on the more budget friendly levels. Uh, 1200 people search for, bud for perfume sale, angel perfume sale, perfume stores in particular areas, obsession, branded, um, perfume sale. So that's your your designer brand labels as well. So again, numbers there aren't as big as what they were for perfume, but there's a definite interest there in people wanting to buy perfume. And I just went back and had a look at that first one. I mentioned the designer brands a couple of times. I mentioned in the first post how there was a lot of interest in those. So Dolce & Gabbana perfume gets 7,500 searches per month, as I mentioned. Chanel, 6,000 per month. Dior, 15,000 per month. Um, Hugo Boss, 4000 per month for the aftershave and eau de cologne men's stuff. So that what's that tell us? It sells us two things. There's a big interest in the branded and um, designer label stuff there. And people search for, for discounted options there as well. So, I mean, if you go to a, a you know, a boutique department store, I don't know. We call them Meyer and David Jones here, Macy's maybe, Bloomingdale's are the ones that I know of. Um, I don't know of any of the European ones, my apologies. But they will have it at general, you know, at the retail prices. So uh, a bottle of perfume in, <coughs> excuse me, Bloomingdale's might cost you a hundred bucks. Whereas people are looking online to buy it for 50 or 60. So that's what I'm talking about with a discounted range. And there is quite a few sites that do that. Okay, so we know it's sustainable as far as search, in, search requirements. If we look at the trends over the last past five years, it's maintained its interest. Big spikes uh, around Christmas, Black Friday time. So obviously it's a, because it's a gift thing, people buy that as gifts. Um, or to be honest, they probably buy it once a year because it might take them a year to, to run through it. So, but definite spikes at that, that, that time of year. But interest is maintained well throughout the year. So at the end of the day, if we're looking for perfume, um, the numbers are huge actually in sales. Where did I write that? $31.5 billion US dollar industry per annum. So people spend money on it and these numbers here are showing that they will spend it online. So a good market here and if it's something you're interested in, 
let's get, keep going. Okay, so the first thing to look at when you, if you're looking to sell perfume online, perfume is a niche and it's a smaller niche. So it might be something that you can cover in general. Sometimes if you talk about, I did one recently on home products and that's a massive niche broken down into sub niches like furniture, bed, bath and bedding, home decor, outdoor, <coughs> excuse me, out, <coughs> excuse me, outdoor furniture and the like is all of your sub niches within the home products niche. When it comes to perfume, probably don't have that wider array of sub niches, but it is something to think about if you if you if you want to talk about something that you know about or something you think you've got a good idea to sell through, you might want to break it down. And we've already discussed some. You've got your designer brand names, which is a, a sub niche. You can have women, perfumes and aftershave for men. Chemical free pet and vegan perfumes are actually quite a, an emerging market. Vegan and chemical free perfumes in particular are good emerging markets. Might be something to jump on there. I've actually even seen a CBD oil based perfume. I couldn't find the site, but I have seen it in, in my travels in the past. So it might be something to look at as well. Um, so yeah, so think about that. So the first thing to think about is what niche you're doing. Just if you go too big, it might be hard to narrow to get into a good rhythm with all your posts because you're trying to cover too much. But that said, perfume, I think you could probably do as a general. Make sure you know about it, have an interest in it, and we can go from there. If you're still struggling with that, think about it from a problem-solving point of view. Now, think about all the searches you do online. There's a very, very high chance that the searches you do online are to do with solving a problem. So... In the perfume side of things, it might be, I need a perfume that's good for sensitive skin. What's the best perfume? What's the longest lasting perfume I can find? What's a perf what are the best chemical free perfumes? Are there generic options for the perfumes I've got? They're all my problems. I wanna buy a good, a good perfume for my friend's wedding. Those sort of things are the problems that people will search for. Uh, things like, I'm allergenic, allergic to chemical based perfumes, so I need a good alternative. They're the problems that I have. You will solve those problems with your sub niche and the way that you sell the, sell the products that you deal with. So if, if you're dealing with women's perfumes, it might be what's a good perfume for sensitive skin. It might be what is a very florally smelling scent. It might be what the most masculine female perfume. Some females like, some, women, some ladies like the, um, the more woody masculine smell perfume. So that could be an avenue that you could go down in your posts. So think about the problems you're going to solve within the sub niche that you've got. Uh, it could be matching products to use, which is the best ones to buy. Uh, design label perfumes, for example, what's best? What's the difference between a perfume and an eau de toile? Um, it's a percentage of perfume oil, apparently. Um, all those sort of things are what you're, what you're looking at um, for solving problems. And then the third thing of it, thing to do with that then is who are you going to target? So if you're going to write, think about even the designer perfumes. I mentioned before about a designer perfume being in Macy's and a designer perfume online that's discounted. If you're looking at the luxury end of designer perfume, you're not going to be aiming your post at the budget market. If you're looking at the budget market, you're not going to be writing about buying the most expensive Chanel perfume you can from, from Harrods in London type thing. So you need to make sure that the, <coughs> excuse me, you need to make sure that the people you are writing your post for are matching the niche you've got and the problems you're trying to solve. So someone might want a specific, so you need to make sure that you're writing all you know about that specific perfume. Or if someone might go, yeah, look, I just need a perfume. What's the best one I can get for 50 bucks? So it might be the best 50, you know, eight best $50 perfumes on the market or something like that could be uh, how to target that audience and solve their problem. Uh, there are, like anything, there are collectors. People collect perfumes. So they're going to want to know how it compares to the others they've got. Or it might just be, here's the latest release, get into it. So if you, if you know that someone is just going to buy the latest release, Get it to them so they can buy it. Don't spend hours and hours and hours talking about they can get it cheaper here and cheaper there and cheaper there. Just get it in front of them. Um, and if you love to, if you're dealing with our shows for men, we just want to find it. Just tell us what there is, how much it is, and let us buy it. Again, we don't want to be bombarded with, you know, buy the latest thousand dollar brand from Harrods. We want to just be able to find an aftershave that we can buy and go from there. So do you 
So that's the, the three things to consider if you're looking to sell perfume online. What is your niche? Are you gonna keep it as a perfume niche or break it down? What problems are you looking to solve within that niche? And who are you targeting? Write that down and have a good idea of it in your head because as we move on to the next section, you'll probably wanna reflect back to that and think about that as well. Now, before we do continue on, if you are looking to get started in selling perfume online and you're not quite sure where to get started with, with all this sort of stuff, there are a couple of banners in this page about the four-step method to make your money online, which is find your niche, we talked about perfume, you'll need to build a website, we'll discuss that in a second, you'll need to attract an audience, which is solving your problems, and you'll need to monetize your site, which is what we're going to talk about now. So if you need help with any of that, click on these big red buttons on these banners and I will help you out. You'll get in there for free, you'll be able to build a free website. Okay, the first one we can look at when we talk about selling these perfumes online or selling products online is affiliate marketing. Now we're talking about the online sales here, so affiliate marketing is the first one. What that entails is you write about, we mentioned um, designer perfumes before. So say, for example, Chanel is re releasing a new designer perfume, um, Chanel number no. six. There could be a good one, but Chanel, I know Chanel number no. five, but there could be a Chanel number no. six. So you'll write all about Chanel number no. six, what you will then do is you will refer your readers, you'll put a link in your post or, or a, a, um, a banner in your post, your readers will click on that, they'll get sent off to another site, um, Hot Perfumes or, um, I can't remember the other names in the affiliate list that I've got. Um, they, will, they will then do the purchase, do the sale, the customer will buy from them, they pay your commission. So that's effectively what affiliate marketing is. You write about the product, link it off to another program, another another website where they the reader purchases, and then you get a commission for that purchase. That's how it works. Um, as you go through, just go to a search engine and type affiliate perfume, and you'll bring up all sorts of one. There's one in here for Love Scent, uh, Perfume Affiliate, um, Perfume.com. So if I'm writing all about perfumes, if you're in a budget one, there's site, there's site called Generic Perfume. There is sites for chem, chemical free and vegan perfumes. So you can go through, do your searches, find your affiliate programs, then you apply for them. Make sure they match your niche, make sure they match the problems you're solving, make sure they match your target audience, and then you apply to join. Make sure you don't do a half-baked job of the application because they will reject you. They want to know that you're gonna put a wholehearted effort into selling their products but affiliate marketing is one thing you can do. Have a read more, I've gone to it in a way more detail in the post, so have a look through that as well. Next one is drop shipping. Now drop shipping is a, similar to affiliate marketing. The main difference being is with affiliate marketing, as I said, you, you write about a product, you click on a link, person goes off to that, that vendor's website and purchase from them at the price they've set. With drop shipping, that first part's the same, except when it comes to the sale, you've already struck up a wholesale deal with the supplier, so you manage the sale at your end at whatever price you see fit. So if in affiliate marketing you send someone off to a website and they pay 80 bucks for a, a bottle of perfume, you might get a 10% commission. If you're in drop shipping and you can purchase that product for $60 and then you sell it for $80, you'll make $20, which is more than 8%, but you've had, you have to handle the sale, you have to handle the the customer service, you have to handle all those side of things that within affiliate marketing that person does, someone else does for you. That's the difference, you, but you can set the price then. So if you buy it for $60, you might sell it for $70, which gives you a $10 undercut of the affiliate marketing sites, and you, you, can, you can make more sales that way, you get less profit, but it's something that you can, you can consider as well. So you've got drop shipping. Again, do a search online, you can find all the drop shipping, it's in the post if you wanna read for it. And then the third option you've got there is you can sell your own. Uh, the process is called white labeling and it's similar to drop shipping. You'll find a supplier and you'll go out to them and you'll say, okay, I like that perfume, I like that perfume. Can you sell me a hundred bottles of each of those? You bring them in, you make up your own labels, you put your own labels on it. You then set up your website to be uh, like an e-commerce website or you might sell it on Amazon or Shopify or eBay or any of those sort of, sort of marketplace sites and you're selling it as Paul's aftershave, Paul's perfume, you know, all those sort of things. And you, you are, you're selling your own product. You could even go as far as manufacturing your own product if you've got the means. 
obviously the, the more advanced you go with this, so even purchasing from a, from a supplier is gonna cost you more money up front than what affiliate marketing is. So you, you have got that outlay to start with, but if you can build up your label and build up a good brand following, then you're gonna make a lot more money as you move forward. So that's called white labeling. Um, yeah. So for all that, what do we need to do? We need to build a website. Website, if you're an affiliate marketing and drop shipping, that's where you write all your problem solving posts that we discussed before. So the seven best perfumes under $50. Chanel versus Dolce Gabbana, which is best? So you might review both and you know find feedback from other people on what they've liked and not liked about it and collate all that into a thing, into a post, and then people can get a good version of it. I'm allergic to perfumes, what can I buy? So you write all about those things on your website, then link people off to either web affiliate marketing, drop shipping, or to your own product that you might be selling as well. Again, under the Builder website, there's a big red button that says, check it out. If you need help building your own website or setting up your business, click on that button. Once you build your website, you probably want to look at some sort of social media. So social media being might be Facebook, where you discuss your, your perfumes or discuss the posts that you've done. It might be joining like-minded groups. That's a great idea for finding information on, on anything. So go into Facebook and do a search on um, groups perfume on perfume groups they will they will come up all over the place you'll be able to join them you won't be able to get on there and say hey i'm selling my perfume but you get a real life up to the minute idea on what people are looking for people might be discussing the latest release from dkny you get on your website you write all about it review it get it up there because you know that's what people are looking at right now my people might be discussing about the best ways to make chemical perfumes last longer so in your post, you go back and you'll write a whole big long post about how to make your perfumes last longer on the skin. You shit that out, people have that problem, they come in, they find your site. So Facebook groups and the like are really good. Then if you're looking at, um, think about, per the, one of the things I discussed earlier was at the very beginning was about the intangibles of perfume. You can't smell it, you can't feel it if you're selling it online. Think about how the big designer labels promote their perfumes. If, you, if you're familiar with um, Chanel a few years ago, it was big here because Nicole Kidman did it and she's an Australian actress. But she shot some Chanel ads for Chanel number no. five, I think it was, could be wrong. Um, and it was all it was her was walking at night in a big flowing gown in the, you know, in the streets of Paris at night, having just come from an opulent restaurant or something like that. Didn't even really mention the perfume till the very end. There was nothing, she didn't stand and say, well, here's this perfume that smells like this. It was all about the, the atmosphere and the feeling and the, and the exclusivity of, of having that perfume. So that's something you can, you, can, you can use Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube for any of those sort of things. And it might be, here I am at the beach and my best perfume at the beach is this. And it's about you at the beach, you know, sitting on a towel, enjoying the, the surrounds. That's what social media can do for you. It can help you get around those intangibles as well. Okay, how to make money selling perfume online. Let's just recap quickly. Think about your niche. What are you selling? Is it perfume or is it a sub niche of perfume? What problems can you solve for your readers and who are you targeting? If you've got those three things really clear in your head, then you can start to work about how you're gonna sell it. Are you gonna do affiliate marketing? Are you gonna do drop shipping? Are you going to sell your own through white labeling or something like that? Then you'll need to have a look at building a website. You'll need to set up some social media and you can join some groups to get some ideas about what people are talking about. That's it in a nutshell. There's obviously a lot more to it than that. So if you need any help, click on the bottom of this, this post on the banners there. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, don't be afraid to subscribe and like to my channel. I can give you way more information on all of this. If you're watching this from the post, and you have any questions, need any help setting up, you know you want to sell perfume or anything else online for that matter, and you really, really would like some advice on where to get started, please click on my comments below. I would love to help you out. Okay, guys, thanks for that. Hope you're all well. Speak to you soon. Bye.